What's going on dickheads, it's Adam Wave here and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you lot how to be popular. Now if you're still in high school you'll realise that there are people that you all think to be popular. Now many people want to know how to be like them and aspire to be like them and change themselves just to try and be like them. I'm going to give you a few heads up and tips to how to survive high school and not become like them to be honest. Many people see these popular kids as bullies and they are the people that take the piss out of people you know and make you feel like shit. So I don't know why most of the people want to be popular because these popular people are a right bunch of cunts anyways. If anyone in high school tells you to change don't fucking listen to them. You should never ever listen to someone if they don't have anything good to say. If they want you to change yourself, who gives a fuck? It's their problem, not yours. Don't put it on yourself, okay? Through my high school years, I've seen uh, popular girls bully some younger ones and say they all look fucking ugly, and it's just like, you've got a fucking cake on your face. These girls are wearing so much makeup in high school, they make Katie Price look natural. As long as you have a bunch of genuine friends and genuine people around you, then that's all that matters. You don't need to be popular. You just need to have genuine people around. Because I assure you, as soon as you go out, you don't want to be hanging around with these popular kids. Because they'll be off at the job centre, hunting for jobs and friends, and you'll be living the dream. So, it's your choice. I get quite a few messages on Facebook asking me how to ignore hate, and how to ignore people telling them to stop doing what they love. You should never listen to anyone if they tell you to stop doing what you love. Because if you enjoy doing it, then fucking do it. Who gives a shit what other people think, literally. In high school, you should never ever stop doing anything you love, or change the way you are just to fit in. Because these people's opinions are so fucking irrelevant to your life. If someone has a problem with the way you look, that's their fucking problem. If someone doesn't like the music that you listen to, that's their fucking problem. If someone doesn't like the way you dress, that's their fucking problem. If someone doesn't like you, that is their fucking problem. Never change yourself for any prick that doesn't like you, just tell them to fuck right off. I'm gonna give you a few reasons why you don't want to end up like these popular kids. First of all, they're a bunch of pretentious pricks, so who gives a shit what they think? Over the years, I've noticed that most of these popular girls are the fucking unnatural cunts of the world. You should never, ever, 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 ever be put down by what they say because in a few years time they'll be pregnant on Jeremy Carl begging for benefits so you know the jokes on them one of these popular girls in your school ever laughs at you for being a virgin only because she's fucking slept with every single boy in your school to just laugh in her face and say her vagina is like the Grand Canyon and just say that her legs are always open like a pregnant woman giving birth and if you ever think you're ugly compared to one of these popular girls then just fucking laugh just laugh it off because anyone I'll repeat anyone could look good looking with a bunch of makeup on their face. If you put bloody Nutella and what's it's on your face, you all look fucking eatable, edible, everything, literally. Don't worry, you are the natural girls. Don't start putting on makeup just because these girls are. Trust me, you look better natural than these fucking baboons rubbing anything on their face, literally anything on their face. They'd fucking put shit on their face if it makes them look more natural. And also, girls, please don't shave off your eyebrows and draw new ones. It's not a fucking good look. It's not cool in high school. Just don't do it, please. Right, to so the boys, if you're trying to aspire to be one of these fucking popular boys, don't fucking do it. They're all a fucking they are not fucking hard, they are not fucking having sex with every single girl they talk about and they will not stab you if you don't give you lunch money unless you're in a fucking dodgy area then fucking hand over that money straight away. Most of these popular boys think they're the fucking rock of a high school just because they're tall or either fat. Because obviously who's going to want to fight a fat or tall person if you're small and skinny? Who's going who's gonna to want to do that? So obviously they're going to be tougher than you but who gives a shit? It's not going to mean anything in 10 years time. They'll probably be trying to do that down the local pub and get fucking bottled around the head. I'm going to stop talking about these bullies and popular kids because there's no point because they're all a bunch of waste of air anyway. So basically what I'm trying to say is do not give a fuck what all these people think. Don't try and change yourself to fit in because at the end of the day, you being happy is better than them being happy. So just do what you love. Listen to what you want. Dress how you want. Look how you want. And if they don't like it, you can tell them to fuck off back to Narnia. If you did enjoy this video, please leave it a thumbs up and maybe share it with your friends. You know, get it around. Get all these fucking bullies out of the fucking country. Also, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and check out my other videos. I just rant about shit and slagging people off. Living the life, aren't I? So follow me on Twitter, at Adam Waif, and tweet me some dickhead shit, and I will see you in my next video. Love you lots. What inspired you to be a dickhead? To be honest, being nice gets you nowhere, so I thought I'd be a dickhead, mix it up a little bit, and inspired quite a few people to be dickheads as well. So it's all good, it's all good. What is the three things you can't live without? Internet, food, and Chinese porn.